All right, y'all, so welcome back to another one. All right, so as the title says, this is gonna be a special video. Um, bought a new boat for jug fishing. So I got it out here, got it on the lake. Um, I'll walk you guys around it. There's not a lot of walking around, but uh, but I'll show you what I got here. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. All right, y'all, so here we go. 1997 Yamaha Exciter. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool boat. Um, give you guys a look around here at this thing. All right, so anyway, this is a uh, it's a 17 foot boat, um, roughly around 90 inches wide. Uh, it's really stable, you know, for what it is. It's a fiberglass boat, and uh, this is going to be the perfect jug fishing boat, right? The perfect jug fishing boat. All right, so let me justify why this is going to be the perfect jug fish boat but before i do that let me just this thing is that 1997 and look at it it is pristine all the decals all the all the vinyl i mean everything is just perfect on this thing that's why i drove 600 miles to go get it but anyway i feel like i need to justify why this is the perfect jug fishing boat all right, so so let's start at the back here. Let's start at the back of the boat, right? So we got we got a big platform there, as you can see. Nice big platform. Uh, some people use it as swim platform, but it holds the big cooler just nice with the uh, with the cutting board and the knife and everything else, right? Perfect, perfect, right? Moving up forward, we got just luxury seating. I mean, when do you get luxury seating like that all throughout? So we got luxury seating and plenty of room to enjoy adult beverages while we're waiting for our jugs to go down. I mean, this is just perfect, right? It also does 57 mile an hour, so you can get to those jugs really fast. Yeah, so it goes really fast, right? You can get to them jugs super quick. We've also got in-floor storage. Yep, check that out. I think that's for a ski, but uh, it holds the jugs really, really nice. So we got plenty of room, plenty of room to film. Uh, this thing will run in some super shallow water. So what do you all think? Did I sell it to you? <laughs> Did I sell it to you as the perfect jug fishing boat? So before you guys think I uh, went and, and became a pleasure boater, let me, let me tell you the real reason. All right. And it, it's, actually, it's actually what's powering this boat. Uh, I'll show you here. So here it is, guys. This is what's actually powering the Yamaha Exciter. Those are twin 1100 triple Yamaha motors. They're basically jet ski motors, right? That's pretty much what this boat is, in case you haven't figured that out. It's a rideable jet ski, basically. So here, it's pretty cool, actually. You've got controls here. You've got dual controls, one for each motor. So both motors are, they have their own ignition. They've got their own throttle, everything. And uh, you know that's what makes this thing really cool is that it's a dual engine jet boat, right? So that's pretty cool. All right, so in all honesty, uh, no, I did not buy this boat just to jug fish. Um, as many of you guys know, I built my primary fishing boat. I built it like three years ago. It was a super fun project. And uh, you know, I've always wanted to build a custom bow fishing boat. Um, now, obviously, building these boats, it, it, there's years of planning, or at least for me. Uh, you know, it took a long time to get everything ready. I've always wanted to build a bow fishing boat, and I'm finally going to do it. Um, this is the first piece, right? So, I bought this boat just for those motors. Uh, not necessarily just for the motors, but basically, I'm going to build a bow fishing boat, and uh, I'm going to build a completely custom bow fishing boat just for my my usage and just for my way of fishing right and uh so i was sitting there and i was trying to debate i was like well how am i going to power this thing right because uh you know i'm going to do this build on a pretty much a budget uh you know pretty pretty tight budget and i was thinking well how am i going to power this this boat because i want it to go pretty shallow right uh that's kind of a you know the whole bow fishing thing and i, I just want it to go pretty shallow so i was sitting there and i said well let's look at you know surface drives or mud motors right now I'm going to build a decent sized boat and I started looking at these surface drive motors and my goodness y'all talk about they want some crazy money for what you get horsepower wise. Um, so I thought well all right what's my next option let's look at uh, you know let's look at an outboard with a with a jet foot on it right start looking at those same thing my goodness I mean they just want just crazy money for these 
for these things. So then I started thinking, what about a jet ski? What if I took a jet ski motor and stuck it in this bow fishing boat? I could have a jet motor, um, you know, and I could surely find a jet boat or a jet ski pretty cheap, right? So that's what my research led me to was these. I did not know these existed. So this is a dual engine jet boat. Uh, each one of those things produces 110 horsepower, right? This whole boat right here, 220 horsepower. So I found this boat, found it in pristine condition, and this is what we're gonna use. I am gonna take this boat, and this is actually gonna be a donor boat. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> donor boat. Um, <laughs> I can't even say it now, you know, cause if you, flip a couple of letters around. Anyway, uh, so I'm actually gonna take this boat and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'm gonna take this boat and I'm gonna cut it up. We'll go with that. I'm gonna take this boat and I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna use everything out of it. That's why I went with this boat. I can use the throttle, I can use the gas tank, I can use the steering cables, I can use everything, I can use the pumps, everything. This boat also has reverse on it, you know, which a lot of jet skis don't, you know, kind of in that same price range. So I'm probably not gonna be able to build this bow fishing boat this year. Um, like I said, this is, these are, these are works in progress, you know, building up supplies and everything else. But I got a killer deal on this boat. Um, so I thought, what the heck guys, let's jug fish out of this boat all summer. And I really think it'll make a pretty good jug fishing boat. So, I'm, uh, you know, I'm not going to the, to the party boat side. Don't worry, don't worry, y'all. Um, but I, I, I am gonna blend in pretty good with them. Maybe I won't have them, won't have everybody uh, buzzing my jugs now that I'm in a, you know, a, a party boat. All right. So being as I am a pleasure boat owner now, I can't believe I, I'm saying that. Um, <laughs> anyway, I feel it only necessary to. Uh, to put the put a fancy name on the back right like all those other guys do you know all the pleasure boaters got some fancy name for their boat so anyway many of y'all have commented on the fancy logos uh i've got going here on the channel and i can assure you all uh i by no means am capable of of producing those uh logos right but my buddy john at uh, redneck sticker and design he's the one who who's been helping me out uh designing those logos he's doing an awesome job um, so he does an awesome job uh as, as many of you guys have noticed and commented so uh yeah if you guys would like to check him out i'll leave his link below great guy to deal with uh you know if any of y'all have channels or you know need apparel or anything need a logo design definitely check out uh john with uh you know he's at redneck sticker and design so here's what we're gonna do. If any of y'all can come up with a better name than Donor Boat, <laughs> I still can't say it. Um, so I'll hit up John and uh, maybe he can make me up a sticker and we'll, we'll stick it on the back of this boat for the summer while we jug fish out of it. So anyway, guys, uh, I do have about an hour and a half here before the sun goes down and I did bring everything. I even brought some shad, my fancy boat. We're gonna get this thing nasty this summer, y'all. Uh, I, I brought some shad, so. Let's bait up a couple of jugs and actually see if this thing works. I'm as interested as you guys. So that's that's the giveaway. Obviously, you got to like the video and you got to be a subscriber. But uh, come up with a better name than Donor Boat, and uh, and I'll set you up with uh, I'll set you up with a crappie kit or a catfish kit of your choice. We'll put something together nice for y'all. Uh, but right now, that's gonna be hard to beat. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to think hard. Um, see what you got. All right, so in case y'all aren't familiar with jug fish, and this is a this is a jug here. This is my homemade jug. Uh, this is my adjustable depth jug, and uh, you know we're in about two and a half feet of water, so I got about two foot of line out. And uh, I brought ten jugs with me, so we're gonna chuck them jugs out, kind of place them throughout this cove, and uh, hopefully put a catfish in the boat here before uh, before it gets too awful dark. So there we have it. It was actually 11, I grabbed 11. 11 baits in the water, I'll let them soak. Sit here in my nice easy chair. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing's gonna take a little bit of getting used to handling wise. It's a little different, but uh, we're gonna start at the top. This fish ran right to the shore. Hopefully he's still on there. I got my hook here, it's just a piece of conduit uh, with a hook on it. Kind of help yourself whenever you're, you're out of a boat. 
the low sides of this boat are really going to be a benefit compared to my big boat. Let's see if that fish is still on there. Still working. The, the previous owner mixed gas and had the uh, and had the gas reservoir on this boat, so I'm still working the gas out. That was pre-mixed, so this boat is well. It's it's a mosquito killer currently. Uh, let's see if this fish here is still on there. Oh, he's still on there. There we go. First. Oh, and he got off. That's gummit. I shouldn't have done it. Oh, he was there. It was an eater too. It was an eater. Oh, uh, you guys saw it on the GoPro. Oh, it's funny. All right, coming up to the second one here that moved. Is this fish, sometimes they'll trick you in this real, real shallow water. They just got nowhere to go. Oh, he's on there. What's that crappie? My goodness. I would have never thought that, guys. <laughs> I am in shallow water and it is a spawn, but look at the size of that crappie. <laughs> Look at that on the jug of all things. That is that's a nine. That's a pushing a 14 inch crappie. <laughs> Ate a piece of shad. Let me get out of the sun and give you guys a better look on that one. Oh, that one's got a fish on it. Look at it. It just went. That's definitely a catfish, too. But look at the size of that crappie. <laughs> oh, I'd be happy as hell to catch that guy on jig pole. Look at that. We gotta let you go. Well, if this is what it's gonna be, guys, this boat's getting broke in right. Look at that. That's a stud. Man, we'll let him go. See you, buddy. Check that out. Isn't that something? We're really doing good things here, aren't we? Had a catfish, got off coming into the boat, 14 inch crappie. This is no crappie. I promise you this is no crappie. And he's made a several runs, so he should be hooked pretty good. You're going to run out of sh water there, bud. He's headed right for shore. Got you now, buddy. Oh, that's a good eater. That's a good eater fish. All right. There we go. First quality eater. Let me get spun around again. Get out of this sun. All right, so there you go. First jug fish in the new boat. I was landed. Actually, we've caught a, caught a crappie in another one. But here's the first one. And this guy is going home with me because I've not had catfish in a good while. And, uh, and that's a perfect eater. So there you go. We can catch catfish out of a pleasure boat. Yes, we can. Perfect. Very nice fish. Mosquito fogger. We'll get, it all, we'll get all that old gas out of it. We got another one up here, guys. Got another one. Another one bobbing. He's really doing some swimming with it. Track that dude down. He may be dinner number two. If I can get three, that'd be happy with it. Come here, fish. What are you gonna do? You gonna go under the boat? Gotcha. That's oh, another good eater. Another good eater, y'all. Oh, good. The sun's right. Here we go. That's about as small as I like to keep them. By the way, I clean the yellow and the yellow, uh, red off of them. You know, but this is about a three, three and a half pound fish. Uh, this is dang good table fare, guys. I mean, just awesome table fare. Circle hook, little piece of shad three three and a half pounder we're back baby we're back he's going in the cooler 
We're jug fishing out of a pleasure boat now, I'll tell you. Woo! And it's fun. So these are my adjustable jugs. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the depth again. A little bit shallower. I got a couple up there that's hung up on the bottom or stumps or something, but uh, yeah, running about a foot and a half or so. I'll use that same piece of bait because it's getting dark. There we go. On to the next one, y'all. All right, y'all, so that jug right there is swimming by me. Uh, <laughs> it's swimming by me. We got just a not much daylight left here. We've got just, so we got minimal daylight left, so that's gonna be probably the last fish of the day. Um, let's see what we can get. I need to bring a net. I've lost a lot of fish today, really, for no longer and I've been out here, but that's definitely got a fish on it. And, uh, you know, I've just got minimal time here. So let's drive over there, see if we can't put one more fish in this pleasure boat for the day. Definitely got a fish on it. See if I can't miss him this time. I've missed a lot of fish today. Drive up on him. He pulled that jug down pretty hard, but the sun is just horrible right now, so I apologize. Let's see if we can. That's a nice one if I can keep him on. Come on, fish, there you go. Woo, and he got off, got off in the boat. These fish are just not really committing, you guys. Um, it's still really early in the season and they're eating, but they're just not, not super aggressive like they will be, um, I think is the biggest problem. But there he is right there. Come on. So there he is right there. That's a perfect eater. That gives me three eaters. I've lost four fish. Actually, that jug right there, I think may have a fish on it. So we're gonna go check out one first whenever we pick them up, but we are losing daylight in a hurry. So I gotta be honest, picking the jugs up out of this boat's pretty easy. Uh, these low sides. I'm sitting in a lounge chair. I will say this boat is destroyed after one time of coming out here, and I was only out here for an hour and a half. Oh, pristine boat is not gonna last long around me. But I do like it. It makes it nice for picking up the jugs. It's right here at arm's reach. We just gotta figure out uh, a little bit more on how to film out of this thing. We just gotta figure out a few things. But we'll get it, guys. We'll get it. She's smoking a little less, so maybe we're finally starting to get some of that old, nasty fuel out of there. Like I said, I may or may not, I got a good deal because the guy didn't understand the whole oil reservoir situation, which is fine. I'm not complaining. Last jug right here. All right. Give him a count. Two, four. Six, eight, ten, eleven. I got them all, guys. I got them all. So there we go. I just wanted to come out and show you guys the, the new boat. We caught dinner, threw some jugs out. It was a fun time. So anyway, y'all, uh, don't forget to leave a name below. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, y'all, appreciate the view. See you on the next one. Look at this. I'm sitting in a couch, jug fishing.
and I got mirrors. We're gonna go rip some of this gas out, guys. See you on the next one. One trip. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's just, just destroyed. Oh, this boat's not gonna stay pristine for long, y'all. <laughs>